Retro Preserver 2000 here back again doing another video here. I'm being joined by Spunky Gamer. We're in Stormworks. And behind us is his cargo ship, the SS Bathurst. So, uh, yeah. Let's uh, get to it, shall we? Well, seeing as we're now quite literally on the bridge, my OCD is screaming. Sir. Sir, just could you oh, yeah. come up here? Please okay. fix okay. that. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Please get some paint and fix that. <laughs> Anyways, moving on from that debacle, we are on top of the flying bridge, which has a canvas cover. We've got a compass gimbal with a compass and dial for direction or speed, marker lights, overhead view of the deck with two hatches for a main forward hold. We have jaws showing oh up. Oh. We have two jaws showing up. Anyways, despite the waves, it's perfectly normal. Yeah, wave. This is Megalodon. It's fine. I assure you, sir, this is perfectly normal in this area. Anyways, moving on. So yeah, as you can see by the forward deck, we have the cargo mast with cargo cranes. We've got the bow with the anchor windlasses, two forward cargo holds, two stairwells leading down, a bunch of cow vents, deck winches, cargo cranes, etc. Moving aft, we have the funnel, deck house, accommodation, lifeboats, cow vents, water tanks, engine room skylight, aft two holds, aft cargo crane, and aft deck house with the captain and first mate's cabin as well as two washrooms and access to crew decks lower down. So, with that out of the way, Spunky, would you care to give us a history while we tried to not die? It was built on the 20th of March, 1890, laid down, that is, and she was launched on 1894. And she was fitted out through 1895. And she served a route of Sydney to Cape Town to Buenos Aires to New York. Oh my god! Kraken. It's fine, I assure yeah, you. It's a tentacle inside the boiler room. <laughs> it's fine. No, 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 it's fine. We're just going to casually get some fried calamari. Oh my god, okay. <laughs> yeah, no, no, no. We're just getting some exotic seafood cuisine on board. It's totally fine. Uh, that yeah, no, nah, no, nah, Spunky, this must be the uh, calamari I ordered. It seems to have arrived fresh. Perfect. Calamari Time... seems to be wanting to cook us. <laughs> it's fine. We just need to get some giant meat cleavers and cut the tentacles off. It's totally fine. <laughs> I think it's cooking itself inside the boiler. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah, no, nah, this is officially no longer normal. There. Now it's normal again. <laughs> Oh, by the way, I think we have uh, engines set to full, don't we? Yeah. Ah! Uh, the ship is put. The, I am trying. It's set to full. <laughs> yeah, turn on all bell pumps, quick. Well, I mean, do you want some good news? I mean, we're not exactly... We're not exactly damaged. So yeah, seeing as we seem to have had a crisis now be, be averted, uh, let's continue with the tour. So yeah, here's the bridge. We've got a massive ship's wheel. I can't do what you'd see on the river boats. Two telegraphs, a bunch of call things, light switches, a incredibly small radio room with no room for a chair, I might add. Going outside and down... Uh, I can't get down. I just shut that for good measure. Okay, going down. We now have the forward accommodation block here, which consists of a crew dining room, a few cabins, like this one here, which as you can see is very nice. This is a crew cabin. Got a sink, a wash closet, and engine room access, which is down here. So welcome to the engine room. This is a three-cylinder triple expansion engine. If you've seen my video on John W. Brown, you'll know exactly what these are. Anyways, moving forward, we now have the boiler rooms, which are rocking and rolling more than a drunk person on a Saturday night in Melbourne. 
Sorry, uh, sorry, Spunky, I had to make that joke. Anyways, moving on. So yeah, I'm just going to turn on the bell pumps while I'm in here because that might be quite beneficial. So yes, there's that running. Moving forward or aft, whichever direction we are. We now have the boiler room access points with catwalks. We have a watertight door that I'm going to seal. And here's the forward and or aft hold bell pumps being activated. So yes, there's the upper and lower holds. So I'm just going to utilize this and get out of here. I can't get out of here. You can't get out. Sir, you've made this thing to where you can't climb out. Oh, All right, so there's this. Uh -oh. There's a crew passageway. We have a damaged door, which is, does not seem promising. Okay, so we have a uh, good bit of damage in the aft cargo hold, but we seem to be all right. What are you doing? What's with the telegraph? I'm trying to get us away from the megalodon facing a mountain. Well, the ship, I believe, is running at full steam, isn't it? My advice, now you see why I added access panels to the Sapolo and made it easier to repair stuff. All right, I'm going to just activate all bell pumps throughout the ship because that is now going to be absolutely beneficial. So, there's these running. And real quick, did we just lose steam pressure? Good, keep it up. get this. I'm going to go into the depths of the ship. Where's the prop shaft? I don't see the prop shaft. I see the prop shaft. Why did you put it underneath? I'm not going to question it. Ah! Well, I found the problem. I am losing the problem. Sir, I hate to say it, but you're going to have to stop engines. I can't get back in the engine room. I'm trying to Did we just lose steam? Well, I got some bad news. We're taking water in one of the crew passageways, but it's fine. It's not too, It's not at a level that should be concerning yet, if it makes you feel better. I see another. I see an area that could have been interiorized here. But I'm gonna. Okay, I got some bad news for you. The, uh, no, it's not that. The stern portion with the engines is completely busted. Oh, wait, no, never mind. They're dry. Okay, repair time, repair time. Real quick, are we getting any, uh, are we gaining speed at all? No, the propellant's Well, it's too bad. I repaired the turbine. I got some good news for you. We're still mo you're still moving. The bad news is, is I'm stuck here. Never mind. I'm I'm back. Well, I got our turbine repaired, so we should be set. <clears throat> what? Well, uh, do you want some good news or do you want any bad news? What is it? Take your pick. Uh, uh, we damaged like crazy, but we're still afloat and moving. The bad news is, is the guy's uh, accommodation area is flooding. Uh, 
But yeah, the boys are going to just have to wait on their supper for a while while we get that cleaned up with a few shop vacs, but it's totally fine. We're still afloat. We're still so good. We're still sailing. We're still fine. It's too late. Oh my god. <laughs> oh. oh my god. It's totally fine. There's nothing wrong at all. Hey, nothing's totally going wrong at all. Hey, Spunky, we got ourselves dinner. Yeah, we, we appear to have caught a Meg. Nice. Nah, it's called uh, Shark a la mode. Never mind, we've lost our catch. <laughs> it's fine. I assure you, everything's perfectly normal. It's like, don't worry, sir, as captain of this ship. I assure you, it's all perfectly normal. This is totally standard regime. The cargo covers are just flying off. <laughs> Calamari's back! <laughs> Ow, it just let me <laughs> Quite. Quite, he says. That's oh, not good. Oh, we are really happy in the world. Oh, I was getting off. <laughs> just walks off the boat. It's totally fine. What could possibly go wrong? I mean, to be fair, the ship is kind of holding its own. We're not necessarily sinking really bad. Oh, necessarily sinking that bad. Yeah, I mean, it's only the aft hold that's flooded. I mean, everything else is still sealed. You might want to check your facts. Oh, I am. Only the aft hold section's flooding. Uh, uh, uh-oh. Oh, well, on second thought, actually. Never mind. Uh, Never mind. It's currently flooding now. Oh, my. Oh, my. Getting a little wet. I think it's sinking. <laughs> Did you open any doors? No. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Oh, yeah, it's going. You know, it's a shame. We could have saved it if we wanted to. Oh, man, I just realized when these last two holds flood... It's going to go drop like a stone. Oh, yeah. Actually, scratch that. It's doing it right now. <laughs> yes. Oh, God! And I got my face slammed in. It's fine. Oh, hi, Pathos. I think it's sinking. Oh, don't be too sure. Oh, well, now that explains oh, why it started. Well, now that explains why it sunk. You opened up the scuttle, I think. Calamari was going to steal the boat. We had to scuttle it. <laughs> Fair. Well, that was a chaotic trip. If you guys enjoyed the video, please let me know if you want to see anything else.